morning everybody welcome back to another video today blah 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 nah money mess what's the crack today uh two containers today two containers first perfect idea with keys come on everybody let's get myself a costa look christmas cups are now in that's it we are now officially on the countdown to the christmas calendar <laughs> Um, we're on the countdown to the Christmas calendar. Hello, welcome back, blah, blah, blah. Welcome to, this is, aha, another video. <laughs> uh, what do we think of that? Scan you there a second ago. Lovely lad called Kieran driving it. Uh, Road for Atkinson's, very, very nice X S650. Today, two containers, blah, blah, blah. Get talking to you in a minute about what's going on. Right, let's get on the one. Probably been a while since you've seen me in Port Row. Um, lately, this place has gone really bad for queues really really long queues and uh yeah they're pe well it's not really their fault they're trying to deal with the whole place they if you've seen on the way in in the time lapse you would have seen that the stacks have all been extended so the yard that used to be over on the left hand side is now gone it's now moved to where i am now there you actually used to be um i think it was like a maze shed here where they used star maze that's now gone and then they've made room for the new yard down the back so uh if you haven't been here in a while, just a little heads up if you're looking for the yard, it's down the very back and you have to do what I just did there to get to it. Um, today, we have two containers. This one I'm getting rid of now is actually from yesterday, so I have to get rid of this. Uh, then I have to head over to Rushfleet. I haven't been over in Rushfleet in, it must, be, it must be at least nine months now at this stage, probably even longer. Over there to load an empty box, then down to Waterford to Dungarvan load the container there come back up here ship it out get another box and go to somewhere in lusk or something so a busy enough little day uh i have to get this off here now for us but the forklift is loud in the train so typical the second you get in after being in the queue for half an hour you're waiting for the forklift now to unload me so looks like i'm gonna be here for a little while i'm not gonna have a any such an easy day as i thought <laughs> I was driving a DAF C average at the time and it was the day we were actually picking up the 16 uh, R580 twin tag that we have that my brother drives right and uh, Macavani Scania in Fingus had only gotten these new barriers in to like you know just stop general traffic coming in and out of the, the dealership or whatever <laughs> so I was driving in I was behind the guy and uh, he, he went in ahead of me and so he was driving ahead of me, so I stopped, right? The barrier never came down after he went through. So I was sitting there for like, I'm not joking, it must have been a good three minutes. Because I know what barriers are like, they just, just cause havoc, right? So I was sitting there for about three minutes. And I was like, right, this barrier hasn't come down yet. So I'm gonna go through the barrier now, right? What happened? Second I drive through the barrier, it gets caught on the, the, the body of the rigid and torn off the, uh, the pole brand spanking new barrier ripped off by me on our way in to get our new lorry talk about embarrassing right and then the the guy to say one of the sales guys it wasn't the uh, paul moan it was another guy he came out what the f lead after doing the barriers on the ground i was like i'm so sorry like i checked the camera i waited there for about three minutes and then as soon as i drove through it the thing decides to come down on me so anyway it was mortifying Took, it took three notches off me pride that day. 
But at the same time, it was really funny. And everyone was laughing at me that day, even that they couldn't get over that. We got a, a brand new Scania and a barrier for free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a funny day. Now, I better explain the Al Blue calendar to you guys. Basically, if you haven't been here last year, you won't understand what it is. Basically, what it is is a video every single day up until Christmas Day. So, for the whole month of December, you guys get a brand new video every single day. And what the videos consist of really is a day in the life of what I get up to on a day to day basis where I go, uh, what parts I go to, etc, etc, all the deliveries I have. And then there's a bit of uh, me at home, and then uh, usually I try and do a bit of exercise. Now I don't normally exercise, I'm not uh, a big gym head, I don't really have much time to get to the gym or anything like that. So it's a month for me to not make any excuses to just say, I'm going to get out there, I'm going to deal with this month. And then when it comes to Christmas Day, it's a big reward for me. So what I want you guys to do is join in with me. If you guys can do a two to three kilometer run every single night, or even four out of five nights a week, um, share on Instagram, all that crack, I'll repost it, and we'll get a little buzz going, you know? So uh, that's what I did last year. Uh, did a run most nights, came home, edited the video, put it up that night, and went, did the same again every single day. Now this year, the videos are gonna be a tiny bit shorter just because the lack of time I'll have to do them. However, there will be a new video every single day, so that's something to really look forward to. I really did a great boost for the channel last year, and I was really proud of it come Christmas Day. And you also, you feel a lot better, because if you're out doing exercise, you're out doing a bit of movement, you just feel good after it. Not, maybe not the next day, <laughs> but definitely you feel better uh, in the long run. So that's what I'm encouraging doing. Um, you'll see me adapt to my new environment, to my new house, and, uh, the new truck and all that sort of stuff so it's going to be really positive on end this now on a pot or this year on a big positive note doing the Abdul calendar and it'll give you guys something to do if we're still in a lockdown or whatever else it'll help so that's something to look forward to it starts on the 1st of december um, and yeah just get excited about it if you're excited about it get in the comments and tell me if you're excited about it and if you aren't already following me on Snapchat or Instagram, I'd recommend doing that because you'll get to see the behind the scenes of the days. Now, I'm only about three hours late, but at least I'm getting here. We ain't done Garvin, nobody. So, yeah, Don Garvin's getting serious about the work done to us since the last time I was here. He's trying to get cars to know how are you? Absolutely near impossible to keep it clean. <sighs> Come here, does anyone else's XF FTP run through mud guards for some reason? I don't know why. Look, it's the same one on this side and the same on the other side, and I'm not catching them out the containers. I lower it every time before I put it in. Look, exact same, the exact same place on this side and on the inside of this one. I know that might have been a trailer catching it. Carry on, boys. Uh, that's definitely not me. It looks like it's getting warm by the tire or something. I don't know. Do you reckon I should say to that for warranty? <laughs> Do you know what I get told? Fuck it. Very, very dirty. You wouldn't even know that they were allies, would you? <sighs> dirty, dirty, dirty 
Lloyd. All right, big shout out to the lads in uh, Storall in Dungarvan. Uh, <laughs> I was just pulling, pulling onto the van, he goes, I know you from YouTube. <laughs> so uh, that, that never gets old, it's pretty funny when it happens. But yeah, shout out to the two lads in there, allowed me, as I said, just allowed me straight away, not holding me up at all. I've actually been extremely negative lately. And uh, a, a lot of you have noticed that I've been extremely ne negative lately. It's just, uh, ah, it's just, some, some, do, some days this job just gets to you a bit and when it's constantly raining, it's miserable out, uh, nothing exciting happened because of COVID, all that kind of stuff just kind of bums you out a bit so I'm trying to po positively myself up, do you get what I mean? I'm trying to um, stir the pot as they say to get me excited about something and get me focused on something because I've even been putting out YouTube videos I haven't even been that you know, emotionally happy. <laughs> like when you're not, when you don't feel good, you don't want to make videos because you feel like you're going to come off bad and stuff like that. So I'm trying not to do that. You know what I mean? Oh God. But yeah, I'm going to catch up with you when I get loaded and we're going to get on the road. We are out of here. Push up the axle. I'll tell you one thing, it's an awkward old, old gate to get in and out of. You're fucking worried about hitting something. I'm not joking, this last. It is a rotten old day today. Apparently, it's cold, orange weather warm. That's how they say. Oh, God. Very bad way. So I'm on my way back to the park now. I'm literally just at what is it? It's four o'clock, uh, and I'm at Carlo. But I'm actually going to end this video here because if I go in there and start videoing, I'm just going to start blasting out courses, and I'm not going to do that. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. May it. Uh, excuse me, it may have been a short one, um, but there are more videos to come. Please subscribe and look forward to the Christmas calendar because that starts on the 1st of December. So please subscribe and let me know that you're here. And what else do I have to say? Oh, yeah, the next video, uh, I'm not going to tell you about the next video actually. The next video will be out next week as well. So good luck, enjoy yourselves, and mind yourselves.